What's happening everyone, Nick here from TV Box Stop and welcome back. On today's video, Buzz TV takes the spotlight with the release of their latest Android 11 model that acts as a hub to facilitate numerous live TV service providers that use the MAC address method to deliver their service to their customers. This is the old new Buzz TV X5 128AI Amlogic S905X4 Google Certified OTT Android 11 TV OS TV Box. This model has a new aluminum body and has the hardware and unique features different to those featured in my recent videos with dedicated live TV services. So to see what Buzz TV has to offer in this model, stay tuned. My full review is up next. Welcome back. So in this purchase, you have your standard Android box contents, starting with the new X5 model itself. They have included the latest Buzz TV BT400 Bluetooth wireless slash infrared combination remote, a pair of Energizer AAA batteries, a standard HDMI cable, a 5 volts, 2 amps, 10 watts DC power adapter with interchangeable pin connectors for the US, UK and EU regions, and a type I plug type for countries like New Zealand, Australia and China, a USB power cable to connect to the adapter, and a support card with QR codes for you to access an online user manual. For input-output peripherals, it has one HDMI 2.1 port, one RJ45 gigabit LAN port, one optical audio, one AV port, its DC power input jack, and a pair of external dynamic T2 TR external antennas. The reset button is located inside the AV port. At the side, it has one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0, and a micro SD card reader. At the front has an IR sensor and an LED power light. And below the box has four anti skater rubber pads and lots of cooling vents. So the startup of this latest model features the Buzz TV animation for a few seconds, then you're presented with the pairing of the included BT400 Bluetooth remote. This is done by pressing and holding the home button and the OK button until the LED on the remote starts flashing red. Once this is done, the box will automatically pair to it. You'll then be given the option to connect to your home Wi-Fi network, then you are taken to the launcher. But please note, if the remote is not connected via Bluetooth, it is still fully functional using infrared signal. So this is the new Buzz TV X5 modern launcher and it's not your regular Android TV box launcher as it has unique features suited to what it's intended for. Firstly, on the top row, you have shortcuts to its live TV hub features that we'll get to in a moment. The middle row, you have a shortcut to the app section. You have a shortcut that opens the Aptoid TV app store. And you have the ability to add your own custom shortcuts. The bottom row, you'll find a list of your recently installed apps. To the top of the screen is where you can access the settings area. You have a date and time widget and a weather widget. This launcher does not have a navigation bar or status bar or a button on the remote to access a recent apps feature. This firmware was built on the Android 11 TV OS SDK and here is its latest firmware build information. You also have access to developer options. Under Display and Sound, you get 4K display up to 2160p up to 59.94 Hz. It has HDR display with the option to set it to Adaptive HDR which comes in handy for TVs that don't have HDR display. It has HDMI CEC options and Surround Sound audio options. Under Device Preferences, you have 54 various languages to choose from. You have Keyboard Settings, and for those who would like to use a mouse pointer to enter text into search fields, and to use the mouse pointer on the on-screen virtual keyboard in Android TV OS, simply install the Android TV keyboard from the Play Store. And you have Screen Saver and Energy Saver options. 
Under More Settings is where you can find your Power Key Definition options and some advanced picture color, sound and a repeat of its display and surround sound audio options. Under Buzz TV Utilities, you have System Updates, Home Screen Options, this is where you can change the launcher from a selection of the most recent and past Buzz TV launchers. You have settings for the weather widget. You have options to turn the backlight on the remote on or off. And you have a volume control option to force maximum volume. For pre-installed apps, these are what come pre-installed with the exception of the Android TV keyboard and the VPN app. Those are installed for myself. So I'll install the rest of apps needed to complete my review and continue. So I'm back. And before I get into its primary feature, let's take a look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this box is Droid Logic, and it runs on 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Its Bluetooth version is 5.0. Its CPU is the Amlogic S905X4 Quad-Core Cortex A55, clocked at 2.0GHz, configured in 32-bit mode. For display, its GPU is the Mali G31 with OpenGL ES version 3.2 support. On the network, shows that it has 2.4 plus 5 GHz Wi-Fi support and I've already tested it and it's also Wi-Fi 6 compatible. Its operating system is Android 11 codenamed Red Velvet Cake and it shows that the firmware is not rooted. On the devices, it shows that its GPU has Vulkan version 1.1 support. On the temperature, with its aluminum body and ventilation holes, it has a cool idle operating temperature around 48 degrees Celsius. On the codex, it has all the decoders for the playback of 4K HDR videos such as H.264, HEVC, AV1, VP9 and Dolby Vision decoders. And for surround sound audio, strangely, I couldn't identify any surround sound audio decoders such as Dolby Atmos and DTS HD. I will, however, test for those later in the video. And that's its system and hardware information. Aside from its live streaming feature, the X5 gives you a certified Android 11 TV operating system with Google Widevine Level 1 and HDCP 2.3 protection to stream premium movie services in HD and 4K resolution as shown here in its DRM information. However, in spite of having this certification, it does not have a Netflix ESN, or it could be a case of Buzz TV simply deciding not to include a Netflix certification. But all is not lost as you can still get Netflix in at least HD 1080p with the modified version by sideloading via APK. Please note, this modified version will only work on boxes that are fully Google certified with HDCP protection, as well as running on Android TV OS with no root access. It can install on boxes that does not meet this requirement, but it will not show in HD, only basic 480p. You also won't find it easy to get your hands on this APK, nor will it be listed anywhere in the description below this video. You would have to contact me directly via email at tvboxstop at gmail.com. And standard on all Android TV devices is the usage of YouTube. The Android TV version of YouTube is standard on Android TV OS, and on the X5, you get 4K 2160p at 60Hz with HDR to play YouTube videos. For screen mirroring and casting, the box does not come with an official version of MirrorCast, so you have to use an alternative casting app such as the AirScreen app. Here I'm casting my mobile phone using the AirScreen app using Android's default casting feature. However, this is not in HD as you would using the official version of MirrorCast. Included in this firmware is a specialized app for the Bluetooth BT400 remote. In this app, you have options to automatically set the remote to control your TV, 
option to turn its backlight on or off, and you can set custom shortcuts using the color keys. For improving your navigation experience and customizing your launcher, you can install the menu button alternative navigation bar. Most features of the bar are working with the exception of the recent apps feature. This is due to the box not being rooted. I also installed two alternative launchers, the ADW Launcher 2 and the Nova 7 Launcher, and they both work with features such as long click menu pop-ups and drag and drop shortcuts. You also get the option to change their wallpaper, but you don't get the live wallpapers to work. Also, there is no changing of the wallpaper on the default launcher. A critical feature of most modern Android boxes is the inclusion of required decoders that will allow you to play various 4K videos in various formats such as MPEG-4, MKV, AV1 and TS. It must also be compatible with the popular media players and can activate the HDR feature on your TV. I will now play my list of 4K videos comprising of all the formats I just highlighted to test the quality of its playback. And only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico. But the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts. So using the MX player, I was able to play all my videos smoothly including the AV1 video. The HDR feature was also activated on my TV during the playback. I also got HLG HDR to trigger on my TV which is another HDR format. 
As mentioned earlier in the system and hardware information, I was a bit concerned that I couldn't identify any surround sound audio decoders. So to test whether it has decoders or not, as usual, I will connect it to my 7.1 audio receiver and play my list of videos encoded with surround sound formats such as Dolby Atmos, DTSX, DTS HD Master Audio, Dolby Surround and Dolby True HD. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels. So, from this test, it shows that my concerns are indeed justified, as the lack of DTS decoders resulted in the box only being able to produce Dolby Atmos and the Dolby Surround. In one instance, it was able to produce DTS Virtual X instead of DTS HD Master Audio, and it could not produce DTS X at all. But the question is, however, how many videos or movie platforms are using DTS these days? It appears that everyone is using Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision formats. My final test will be on its 3D gaming performance, then I'll close with its benchmarks. So in this test, I've connected my gamepad via Bluetooth to test its Bluetooth stability, and I'll play one Android game to test its rendering performance and to monitor for overheating. So this test shows that it has a stable Bluetooth connection as my gamepad did not disconnect at any time. Its gaming performance is what I would call average on medium settings and the temperature with its CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz and its aluminum body maintained a stable 70 degrees Celsius during gaming. And to close things off, let's take a quick look at its benchmarks and where it places on my rankings chart. First, it's RAM copy speed and internal storage read and write speeds. It has a RAM copy speed of 3449 megabytes per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 151 megabytes per second and a write speed of 107. Next, the test performed on its dual Wi-Fi bands and its gigabit Ethernet LAN port based on my network speed of 250 megabits per second resulted in the 5 GHz band and the LAN port achieving 100% of the speed of my network. The 2.4 GHz band achieved 40% averaging speeds of around 100 megabits per second. This test also confirms that the LAN port is a gigabit LAN port. The Geekbench 4 benchmark resulted in a score of 877 single-core and a 2214 multi-core.
In the graphics benchmark, it scored 6006 in the Ice Storm Extreme Test, 599 in the Slingshot Test, and 381 in the Slingshot Extreme Test with Vulcan support. And in the Antutu benchmark, it scored 87,872. All of these benchmarks are slightly higher than what you would get from a standard Amlogic S905X4 model. And that's the last of the benchmarks. Let's now see where it places on the rankings chart. So the scores are in and the new Buzz DVX5 is at position 28 in reference to Antutu benchmark scores, placing it among the top S905X4 models on this chart. To view this chart, see the link in the description below this video. So in summary, the new X5 has chosen the latest hardware, which is the Amlogic S905 X4 chipset to launch their new model, as they already have models running on the Amlogic S905 X3 and the S922X, which you can check out using the link in the description below. The hardware performance in this model is outstanding compared to other models, resulting in some high benchmarks, and with its new aluminum body, gives it a robust design that facilitates cool operating temperatures, whereby eliminating overheating. The live TV hub feature and its interface with EPG Guide, which is its primary feature, is top-notch and works flawlessly. With that said, even though it's running the latest Android 11 TV OS operating system with the Google certification, it does not carry an official Netflix ESN certification to show their movies in HD and 4K. However, other platforms such as Disney Plus and Amazon Prime Video works in HD and 4K. One thing not shown in the video but I will mention it here as a con is that the box sometimes randomly reboots when trying to update certain apps. The good news is Buzz TV is one of those companies out of Canada that provides frequent updates when needed. And that brings to an end my review. Thanks goes out to Buzz TV for sending this new model for review. And if you would like to get your hands on this model, you can do so at a 10% reduced price of $179 for the 128GB model shown in this video. There is also a 64GB model for a lower price that you can also get a 10% discount. To get this 10% discount, use the exclusive TV Box Top coupon that I have included in the description below this video. This 10% coupon can also be used to purchase any of their current and previous models. So to take advantage, see the various links in the description directly below this video. If you are on a mobile phone, click the little down arrow below the video to expand the description area. Links in the description are my Buzz TV affiliate links, which means when you use them to purchase along with my coupon, I earn commissions that go towards the upkeep of this channel and towards securing new products for review. So thanks in advance for your support. So go ahead and give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you are new to my channel and would like more information on products featured here, hit the red subscribe button directly below this video along with the notifications bell to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Information can also be found on the live TV service featured in this video along with information on how you can get your hands on the modified version of Netflix. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, stay tuned and see you in the next one.